How's it going, guys? It's Cass. As always, if you've been enjoying my content, then hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, we have some very positive changes coming to Demon Hunter in patch 9.1, and all of these changes revolve around the defensives for Demon Hunter. This is something that I did not expect to happen whatsoever, but I am very happy that it happened, and something I've been asking for for a while now. They've actually reverted soul rending completely to where it was back in BFA. Now it gives you 10% base leech, and you get an additional 20% leech while Metamorphosis is active. So basically what this means is we get 30% leech in Metamorphosis and 10% leech while we're outside of Metamorphosis. Uh, just to prove that here, we have 10% base leech here. The extra 1% is from my Cloak Enchant. And then once I press my Metamorphosis here, we get that additional 20% up to 30%. This on top of the extra healing that we get from the hunt just makes it significantly better and honestly makes um, soul rending much more viable in PvP environments and will lead to much better situations for Demon Hunter and 2v2 environments when you're not playing with a healer. The next change is something kind of bizarre. Um, all in all, Desperate Instincts is a talent that sees almost no play and it's most of that's because it's just a terribly designed talent. It basically forces you to not press blur, but then gives you buffs to blur as well. Because if you have this talent and press blur before it actually triggers, the talent is completely useless and does not work. How Desperate Instinct works now is you still get the 10% additional reduced damage with blur, but whenever blur triggers, whenever you Blur triggers automatically for you still whenever you fall below 35% health. However, it only has a 15% duration or 50% duration and has a 50% reduced cooldown. So they've halved the duration, but give you a slightly lower cooldown for it. Overall, this is a weird change and realistically, we won't see any play of this talent in general with the power level of soul rending and with this new change to nether walk as well nether walk got an additional second added to the time and immunity so it's gone from five seconds to six seconds and while one second isn't going to be too crazy there will be some situations where one second is actually just the difference between life or death and this buff will lead to situations where you live in some situations where the pre previously before this buff you would not have. So all in all, this is a good change for Netherwalk as well. And unless you're lazy like me, you're probably going to be only playing Netherwalk in 3v3 environments just because of how strong it actually is. All in all, Demon Hunter is still going to be relatively glass cannony, but I feel this soul rending change as a whole just makes Demon Hunter a little bit better in the tanky department. And then on top of that, we have to also think about we're getting additional stats through versatility and stamina as well as the expansion increases. So I think it's going to just generally make classes more tanky overall. So I really think these changes are very positive for the class health as a whole, and that Demon Hunter will be in a much better spot in PvP because of these changes. As always, if you like the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, F5, refresh, try it again. Maybe you'll like it the second time. Have a good one.